Oh, snap. We're back. I never thought I'd say those words again, but here we are. 2024 Marvel Snap content. That's where we're headed, ladies and gentlemen, as today we got the first video of the year and hopefully the first of many as I'm going to showcase the deck that I've been using to come back to Snap, essentially, to climb through the ranks. I made it to Infinite twice in like a week and a half because I essentially climbed towards Infinite at the very end of last season, facing like 99% bots. <laughs> so keep that in mind. But this time I actually made a climb that uh, allowed me to um, face players. So it, it, it was it was harder to actually do because you have to face you have to face players with the brain, right? But we ended up in 313 in the global ladder. And most people on my chat think this, this rank is fake for some reason. As as if I was a terrible player at card games or something. But obviously, after having not played one year, I have been rusty. I have been shaking that rust off. And I still have to drill certain new cards meta-defining cards into my head to play around them, right? Um, I'm still getting used to a lot of the new cards. I have fallen behind in the collection. There's a bunch of key cards that I do not have, in case you're wondering. Like, I don't have Elioth, I don't have Blob, I don't have Jeff, I don't have Miss Marvel, I don't have Nico Minoru, I don't have Spider-Ham, I don't have, like, what more is there, man? Like, there's a lot. High Evolutionary, um, Werewolf by Night, Gladiator, etc etc jeff i don't know if i mentioned that i i'm lacking a lot of key cards a lot of them right one year worth of cards and yet i can compete i can i have no complaints in that regard like i have been able to consistently beat all these sorts of decks with the cards that i have and i, got, I gotta commend marvel snap on this because yes the game is expensive yes it is capitalism incarnate do not get me wrong but you don't need to have all the cards to compete with other people, even at the highest of ranks. And today's deck is really gonna prove that. As this deck I used on stream to get from, I was at one point I was 1,300 in the leaderboard in last season, and I went from there to top 700 in just one stream with this deck right here. And I used this deck to climb all the way to Galactic, but then I, I swapped around to other decks because uh, Nedavlier became the hot location and this deck doesn't really match up into it. But let's talk about today's deck, which is called Tempo, a daredevil tempo deck. A deck that is quite simply aiming to stay ahead of the opponent by turn five onwards. But turn five specifically, because on turn five, we get to see our opponent's plays before they make or we make our own. English and this deck thrives on sacrificing a little bit of like combos and synergies for just good points on curve we play on curve we put up the points we stay ahead in two out of three locations and then we shut them down turn five how do we shut them down there are three key cards in this deck that allow us to do that we have Cosmo for on reveal effects we have Negasonic Teenage Warhead which allows us to destroy something like for example a Sarah with Daredevil, we can see where they're gonna play the Sarah and we can nuke it, amongst many other things. And Quake, one of one of the best surprises for me personally. When I got back into Marvel Snap, oh boy, seeing this card felt amazing. Quake is a card that a lot of you know, you know, those of you who saw my Marvel Snap content last year, I tried to make her work like a million times and I failed every single time. The card was trash and now the card is actually really, really good. In fact, I am shocked that I do not see Quake on the ladder more often because she is insane. There's just so many, I, I could spend like minutes and minutes rambling about the different scenarios in which Quake can really uh, just turn the game around. Like there's just so many different uh, examples, but something that really, like the, the one factor that is constant throughout all these different scenarios is that if you are able to flip Quake before your opponent flips their cards, that'll give you a tremendous advantage. Right, uh, for example, Death's Domain. I can play Quake on turn five and then flip the locations and all the stuff that they're playing on the other location, this is destroyed, right? Like that's, that's one very obvious example, but there's so many different uh, other scenarios that Quake leads to. And that's what this curve is about. As you guys can see, we have one drops, two drops, three drops, four drops, six drops, but no five drops. And that's not a coincidence because on turn five, we're not playing five drops. We're playing a three drop into a two drop. So ideally this curve goes turn one Iceman, Perfect one drop for this kind of tempo deck that's trying to stay ahead of the opponent, sacrificing, like I said, combos for good, reliable, 
point slamming so that we can shut them down on turn five. Iceman really helps us do that by slowing down the opponent. Sometimes kind of like auto wins you the game by hitting something really important in their hand that they can't play on curve. Uh, but Iceman is just phenomenal in this deck because of that. Then we develop a two drop proactively, ideally Daredevil or Medusa, uh, because we want to be preserving the likes of Quake and Maximus for turn five. But you can always play Quake or Maximus on curve as well if you don't find the other ones. As then on turn three, we, we if, if we can always do it, we play Mr. Fantastic. Mr. Fantastic is perfect for this deck. He's fantastic <laughs> because he spreads out uh two power of, uh, amongst all three locations so six power spread out amongst all three locations is the proper term this allows us to stay ahead and also uh not have all all doors open what i mean by this is we have options right uh because we're allocating points on all three different locations we can adjust and then uh, leave it for later to decide which location we're giving up on and which two we are focusing on. Something also very important about Mr. Fantastic here is that he enables Crossbones on turn four. Crossbones is a card that many people deem a meme and unplayable, and they are very wrong about it. Crossbones is very underrated. Crossbone thrives in a deck like this because we can enable his requirement with Mr. Fantastic and just our strategy of just slamming points. Uh, enabling us to stay ahead. And the key thing about Crossbones is Crossbones plays really well into the strategy with Daredevil because unlike other four drops in the deck or in the card pool, like for example, let's say Jessica Jones or Rescue, right? Which can lead to more points. They These cards require turn five to initiate for them to get the power, which means they don't help you stay ahead for turn five. Crossbones does. Crossbone gives you the points immediately. And that is super, super valuable, more so than you think. And again, with Mr. Fantastic, we can enable him uh, quite reliably. So that's why we play him there. Then turn five, like I mentioned, we play a three drop into a two drop, something like Cosmo into Quake, Cosmo into Medusa, Cosmo into Maximus, Negasonic into one of these. It just, it depends on the situation um, and the scenario. But we have we have the ability to counter pretty much everything as long as we have initiative as the same a pattern that happens with our two drops and our three drops that you can see throughout, uh, you know, the deck is that we have two proactive uh, two drop plays and two proactive three drop plays and then reactive uh, on, on the other end. Right. And that's kind of like the structure of it. Morph is there for a solid proactive three drop play that's actually not bad at all can be game winning in a lot of scenarios and matches up really well on the meta but to be honest if i had gladiator i would have gladiator in, instead of morph and arguably if i had Eliath, i would put Eliath over leader even though leader is better than Eliath in some scenarios like for example uh against opposing dr dooms leader can copy dr doom and that's not something that Eliath can really do uh, Eliath actually matches up poorly against Doctor Doom, so it's not it's not a clear uh, case of one card being better than the other. Uh, it's just something we got to take into account. We have Leader or Doctor Doom as our last play uh, because by that point we run low on gas, right? Uh, we we have been playing uh, instead of playing a five drop, we've gone three drop into two drop. We don't really have card draw, so we're gonna be running low on steam. So we want to end the game with a six mana play, and depending on the scenario, right? If we're facing uh, something that we're expecting something really big to go down, and we need to win a specific uh, lane, we go leader. If we want to spread out, uh, since we've been able to contest all three locations relatively equally, then we go Dr. Doom. It really depends on the matchup, but both kind of like functions in, in, in opposite scenarios. And that's why they represent our six energy play in the deck. And ladies and gentlemen, that is a deck list right there. Hopefully the, uh, the deck tech wasn't too rambly. I had the, uh, the intro at the beginning, uh, managed to keep it under 10 minutes, but uh, yeah, I'm really, really proud of this deck. It puts in a lot of work. It's very budget friendly. So for those of you who are returning to the game as well and, and are in a similar uh, state of a collection like I am, then this is something that you can definitely go for and it puts in the work. I'm gonna let the games speak for themselves because today's games, oh boy, you're, you're, you're gonna see. You're gonna see your boy back back in action on Marvel Snap. And uh, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy and are looking forward to it. So yeah, I love you. Have a solid day. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for daily Marvel Snap content. Hope you enjoy the games. I'll see you guys tomorrow. So you wish you had Ali Eliath, but play leader instead, then pretend it's because you're edgy and cool. Got a problem with that? All right, we got, we got a starter. And we got a Quake into Oscorp Tower. That could be pretty stonks. Where do we expect our opponents to play? Okay, we expect our opponents to play cards in the Abbey. Guys, 
Guys, we're going to bamboozle our opponent. We are going to bamboozle our opponent. Are you ready? Hmm. Watch. No! No, come on! Why wouldn't you play there? You don't you don't like drawing cards? Shit. Okay. That's all of our two drops though. So we can't we can't like Oof, this is bad. And we don't have initiative. Because of this bam. Like, I, I really thought they were gonna play into it. Yeah, this is pretty over. Unless, unless Morph, unless Morph just saves us, maybe we, maybe we believe in Morph. Morph is the only thing that saves us at this point. It's Morph or Bust. See, if we had initiative, guys, if we had initiative, we do this. And we shut down the Lockjaw. How amazing is that? But we don't. So we morph into Medusa. No, we morph into Maximus here. And we believe in morph. Morph! Morph! Come on, morph. Come on, morph. Come on, morph. Come on, morph! <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, back in it. Back in it. All right, uh, what have they discarded? They've discarded Hulk, which is they've already resurrected. And they discarded, um, they haven't discarded anything else, right? So it's no Hella. It's no Hella. I don't think they play... Oh, discarded Morbius. I don't think they play Shang-Chi here. Do they play Shang-Chi in this kind of deck, guys? In, in Lockjaw? No way, right? Negasonic, Negasonic. Negasonic, baby. Hey, I knew it! I knew it! Big boy play! Outta here! Let's go! <laughs> Morph! Victory. Mm. Mog, did you finish the weekend missions? Uh, I'm not sure. So again, you guys, you guys happy with the layout overall, or is there anything about it that irks you? Oh, snap. Bring it, bring it. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm actually a little bit scared. Not gonna lie. I think I, I jumped the gun here. I, I got, I got. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, we're gonna draw two drop. Come on, Iceman. Iceman win. Iceman win. No! No! Morph! Morph! Shit. Hmm. Yeah, this is weird. Do I Cosmo? If I Cosmo, I can't. I can go for the quick line. But I'm gonna do it because they definitely want to play something here. Nope. Nope. No. No Asgard for you, bitch. All right, here we go. Crossbones. What the fuck? Oh, Jeff. Must be nice.
need raw power. Jeff is gonna be is gonna allow them to win there. They have initiative on us, which is a problem. We have to lead her. There we go. Are ye worthy? Math? Maximus? Got him. Got him. Are ye worthy? Got him! Let's go! Maximus! Maximus! That's why we play Maximus. Victory. Hey! Okay. Guys, we got Morph. It's over. Game's done. Do I snap here? We can't snap because we don't. I don't want to snap with X Mansion. Let's not. Let's not get crazy. We quake. I am reborn. Okay, they got the apocalypse, but that's gonna help us with with tempo. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is? Actually, no, no, it's not morph time. It's it's fantastic time. Is it? The problem is Crown City gives plus four power at the other locations. That's fair. That's that's totally 100% fair. Medusa. I'm worried about not um, not having initiative over them. But I'm gonna snap here. Okay, we don't have initiative over them. So we're gonna have to resort to a, a double three drop endgame. So this may be the turn to. Okay, let's see. What is what is this? Man, not having initiative here really sucks. But um, now is the time to morph. <clears throat> now is the time to morph. We do this here, and uh, we keep that lane open. And we get one extra power here. I mean, does this accomplish anything? Maybe it's just better to morph left. Morphing left gives us initiative. And then we can Iceman here. I don't think we need to Iceman here. I think we Iceman in here, yeah. There's my boy. God, I love Maximus. God, Maximus is just reliability incarnate. You want Apocalypse in the middle? Get nuked down, boy. I'm, I'm gauge for Maximus, guys. Maximus! No, no, oh! No, no, oh! Victory! Oh, yeah, this deck is fire. Shout out to Terrafall, by the way. Used to be uh, one of my one of my nemesis on ladder, and uh, he's somebody that I, I I don't have to worry about like sniping me because he's he's actually he actually has like self respect. Crazy, I know, but there there are people like that. Two drop, two drop. Hey, here we go. Hmm. 
We, we daredevil mid. We daredevil morph crossbones. That's what we're, we're looking for. Are y'all ready for morph? It's time to morph. Let's go! What the fuck is that? Oh! Uh, calculated. Crossbones, get in there. Get in there, crossbones. We get initiative back, and now Daredevil's in. And you know what, guys? snap a -da! snap a -da. With Daredevil, you want to snap before they make their play. It makes it less likely that they retreat. If they're cowards, they'll run anyways. But, but you generally want to snap before they show their play, because that enhances your chances of them actually going with it. Now they play your deck better than you. You have to be ahead to play my deck better than me. That's, that's the thing. Y'all don't get it. Like, I know my deck. My, my deck fucks up my deck very, very nicely. You see that Negasonic? You see that Agent Coulson? Do you see, guys? First of all, the Jin is kind of like useless here. I can't quake here. It has to be Iceman. Wait, how much? Two, six, six power, eight, eight, eight power. No, we need, we need two Iceman here. Yeah, Jin dies. What about this? I think this works. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, they use their own quake. Wait, no, 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 but it, it's still. Oh, it, it, it. What is that last card? Is that a gin? Yes! <laughs> Got him. Wow, we're farming cubes today with an actually good deck. Yesterday's deck was fine. God damn it. it it's just that I'm getting sharper. Okay? I, I haven't played in a year. Jesus Christ. Interesting. Hi. Hello. Don't, don't snipe me, please. No! Uh, 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 no! See, Iceman, Iceman just fucking wins sometimes. God damn it. Literally, literally ruined my curve. Wow. Wow. I'm still gonna play Mr. Fantastic in the middle. I don't care that there's a Bifrost. I need to crossbones here. If I wanna have a chance this game, I need to play crossbones on the left, ideally. Honestly, I sh yeah, I can't play Mr. Fantastic in, in deep space because he won't trigger. Maybe I should have. I should have. I should have, right? I should have played him in deep space. 
Wait, are you Thanos? No. It's okay. Crossbones. Crossbones time. Oh, Quake? Quake can be insane. Quake can be actually insane. We got initiative. Oh. Oh. Snap. What I tell ya? What I tell ya? I fucking love this card. Just pure muscle, Negasonic on the left, and pure muscle, Maximus in the middle. It's always leader, Magneto. Yeah, what if they Magneto here? Nah, this is a good play. This is raw power. Negasonic, Negasonic. Still beat him. Maximus. Maximus! Victory. GG, man. Good game. I, I'm not offended by them making a I whine on the internet title. I don't know. My advice is don't 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 take shit so 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 seriously, nor personally. Howard. Okay, Nexus can be something we can capitalize. Oh. You're not a Thanos deck. This is really weird though. <laughs> because we have a nexus with a bar with no name. Um, I'm gonna play Medusa on the right, actually. I could, I could bamboozle them with a quake. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This is a quake game, isn't it? This is a quake game. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a quake game. How do we do this? Well, we need momentum amongst all things. Can Daredevil do this for us? Daredevil may not be strong enough. But he is strong enough. He is strong enough. Just enough. And now we crossbones here. Okay, let's think about it. They snap on us. Armor. That's fine. We don't draw Quake. I repeat, we do not draw Quake. Just do not play anything. This deck cannot afford to not play anything. The moment we fall behind, this deck is very weak. What does Quake do for us at that point? We could swap those two. Probably, probably not much. Okay, so Korg, uh, we got armor here in the middle. Interesting. And uh, we have Korg over here. Getting rid of Zabu feels like a really good play. Yeah, it seems like he's throwing left for some reason. Like, they could try to Legion. But we, we, we have plays for that. I'm gonna Negasonic. What if they legion? They legion, they lose into Barm no name. Doom. 
Get five headed boy. Victory. Mm, two drop, two drop, please. We have so many two drops in Iceman. Like, we're gonna draw a two drop here, guys. Always. Watch. Because this curve is a masterpiece. What'd I tell you? I don't like hulks. I don't want hulks. They may want to play into the quantum tunnel though. I'm gonna play Quake in the middle. Do I snap here? The problem is if they play in the, into the quantum tunnel, then they still get hulks. So that's a mistake. Mm, that's unfortunate. So Negasonic just doesn't work. Opponent snapped. Escaped. Giga wrecked. But we only lost one cube out of that. Medusa. Crimson Cosmos is not in the middle. Come on. Let me play. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Medusa play. How about a Mr. Fantastic? Um, I really would love a Mr. Fantastic, but with the Asteroid M, it doesn't even... I don't want to... Do I want to draw them cards here? I wanna, I wanna stay ahead, man. And Negasonic just feels kind of bad here. I wanna be able to crossbones here next turn. And I have Doctor Doom, so I can access that. So I'm gonna do this. I'm an Iceman in the kiln. And now we can crossbones here. It's always a Negasonic play here. Yeah. They gave up on the mid and now they just gotta go here. The thing is, if they, um, if they Odin, if they Odin, then we lead her. So, okay, 16, 8, 16, 8, 8. I mean, we just filled, we just filled the, uh, the board. We, we beat them. We beat, we beat an, a, a hammer Odin onto here. But he should hammer here. He should hammer here. So if he hammers here, then we destroy the hammer and that... They can't hammer here because Negasonic destroys the hammer and they can't Odin it. I think this wins no matter what. I think this is really strong because we lead her there. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh, what a what a sweet win. You're not worthy. You're not worthy. E e e. What's the idea behind Quake? 
Yo, yo, yo sé. Um, here the idea behind Quake is Quake wins? Let's not snap on the Nexus though, let's not be that obvious. Let's wait until the X-Mansion flips, because that could really screw us over. Oh yeah. It's done. This is like this is like the quake of a lifetime. Y'all are not ready for this. Omega lol. Crossbones. That's why you play quick. Victory. How do you sleep at night? Ah, oh, Quake, you're not the you're not the They must have a greedy hand. Morph. What if they are not? No, if they are nihilist. We, we just, we just. Cosmo that was through this. We have initiative. We preserve initiative and they can't annihilate us. We go here and we go here. Go here, or we go double mid. Oh wait, are, are they gonna Galact? Oh no, they're gonna Galactus me. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god, oh my god. No, no, they can't Galactus me on turn five. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? They can't Galactus me on turn five. Jesus Christ, I'm tripping. I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. I'm, I'm so, I'm so used to. Bitch, please. Is it Medusa? What if they play something like really big here? Oh my god, you idiot. <laughs> Victory. Bit of a toxic, but come on. Galactus, Galactus players deserve that. 
Like, the, the reason why I kind of hesitated there as well is because, like, an actual good player does not play Galactus there. I have a theory, guys. I think Gal a lot of Galactus players are kind of like... Papega. Oh yeah, it's Medusa in the middle. Good draw. I mean, Mr. Fantastic would have been better, but Medusa works. Raw power. Raw power that they can match with a 3-drop, right? Because they have one extra mana. Mobius is irrelevant for us. Okay, let's see what you got. You have a quake? You have a quake! Oh, 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 the plays. The plays, okay. ahead of you on turn five you don't you don't want me to be ahead of you on turn five bro would they shang chi now no they want to shang chi in the end They even got the wrong order. It didn't matter though, because we Cosmo. 760, what's your snap point? I don't see one snap man in the leaderboard. I mean, when I started the stream, I was 1,000, I was over 1,300. Jeff is cringe. I don't care what anybody says, Jeff is cringe. Ladies and gentlemen, I could daredevil. I could daredevil, but it's time to morph. Thank you for giving me space. Here we go. Okay, so this this means you hear. I mean, we could fill up locations as well. This is really dangerous. Guys, what if we... The problem is if we lead her, if we lead her, it doesn't actually... Mm. Let's go with a Medusa. Um, oh, you can move to Jeff. I, I, I honestly, guys, I'm not sure how it's going to end. Cause they have they they have two Zabus. They can play a shitload of stuff. 
I have no, I have no idea it's gonna go, but fuck it. For for science, for science, I I don't think I'm ever winning this, but for science, for science. Oh fuck. Uh, exactly. Exactly. We, we, I'm telling you guys, we do not care about Loki with this deck because this deck is only good if you're ahead. Guys, there's a you. You want to know the secret to this deck? If you get outpaced, this deck sucks. They're devil on the right because they're they're gonna be committing more to the kiln. And we got Quake. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Quake. In Quake we trust. Yeah, stay there. Uh where's my Quake? Guys. This is the moment for Morph to shine. Negasonic left for Venom. That was that was actually my original intention. Yes. What about what about what about Cosmo on the right? I'm gonna go Negasonic. <laughs> Out of here! Oh, they're so dead. Boomer snap. I should have snapped earlier. God damn it! I miss. I'm, I'm gonna miss some cubes here. Victory. Yeah, shout outs to Bane. But that's not fair. Bane is like really high ranked, you know. But guys, that that was actually my call. I want them to shuffle rocks, guys. I'm gonna quake on curve here, because they're gonna play into Ant Maze, and and they're gonna end up with rocks instead. And I'm gonna snap on him. Watch, watch. You ready? Observe. Nice rocks you have there. <laughs> no! No! Opponent snapped. This game is stupid. What do you mean Sarah Control just does it better? Does does what? It's like a better version of your deck? No, it's not. It's completely different. It's a Sarah deck. Sarah is actually the opposite of ours of our deck. Like if if, if you compare a tempo deck like this to Sarah, then you you just That's good. Morph? Morph! Morph. Okay, so plus, plus five power. 
We're at nine. Quake does it. Quake does it. And then we Dazzler on the left. Uh-oh. Oh, what a draw. You want to Shang-Chi me in the middle? Be my guest. How do they win this location now? Because if they have something like a Killmonger from the original deck, it's just going to hurt them. Oh my goodness. Wolverine. Wolverine. True. True, true, true. True. Cosmos stonks here. Actual stonks. What do you got here? Shang-Chi? A Dr. Octopus. A Dr. Octopus. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Cosmo on the left. I'm going to Cosmo on the left so that this Wolverine can make it over here. This is 10 points. They're going to be a 15 points. I'm going to collect her here. Triggering the Dazzler. And I'm gonna spider ham. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Oh my god. <laughs> got him, good. 